Hello Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning in to your What's Coming Up Next in Love tarot reading. I'm going to be using my Prisma Tarot to see what's coming up in the next chapter for you in love. Um, so new connections, new romances, new major milestones in love, anything that the Tarot deck can sort of um, bring out here for you. Uh, so you might find some messages that may or may not resonate. So hopefully there is something here that you enjoy and something that makes sense or or there's something here that um, hopefully you'll be looking forward to um so thank you so much for tuning in i have given the cards a good shuffle off camera but we'll give them another quick shuffle on camera and we'll see what comes up so if you're a cancer pisces scorpio um, this reading can be applicable for you um, and also if you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio there may be something here as well so uh, stay tuned and let's lay out some cards for Water Signs next chapter okay we've got the Magician the Moon represents Cancer we've got the King of Chalices so Pisces has come up um, the star card with Aquarius as well. Okay, we've got the Ace of Ace of Chalices is reversed, but the Ace of Swords is upright. Okay, really powerful energy. The star card, uh, the Magician, the World, they really dominate this reading. So you've got strong major arcana cards here, uh, water signs. Straight away, I'm really drawn to new beginnings, fighting for a relationship or potential healing. I'm getting some of you maybe reconciling from, uh, reconciling straight away with an ex, okay, or a partner that you used to be with, someone that you used to see. Um, it's sort of like you're going to pick up where you left off with this person because with the world card, it shows that anything is possible. And um, right now, things are very open-ended, okay, in your love life. Really, anything is possible. So this is a time when you can expect the unexpected. Um, the world card can also show huge transformations in your love life. So for a lot of you, I'm sensing that uh, this uh, can be like a worldly love. So travel could bring love. Um, this is the beginning maybe of a long distance relationship or um, it could be an ex coming back in online. It could also be someone you meet online or through dating apps. So um, I, I get the sense that you're going to be attempting to do something. The star card um, shows someone wants healing or forgiveness in a connection. Or it could even show water signs that um, you're ready to forgive a person or to forgive a situation or to forgive yourself and you're ready for those new beginnings with the magician um, okay in particular for cancers up here um, some of you because the magician can be like a manipulator okay he changes the way we see things um, the magician can be read as a Gemini as well um, some of you have to be truthful in your communication either you 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 need to be more honest in the situation or you're going to demand honesty from someone else um, but there could be a very fast-paced connection coming in one that develops very quickly because the magician likes speed um, the magician is almost like something very instant so there there could be a whirlwind of changes coming your way water signs um changes that will happen very very quickly okay um emotionally speaking the king of chalices is here this is very powerful some of you are going to be falling in love okay so if you're not already in love um some of you are either going to be falling back for an ex um, because uh, the moon can be past attachments um, the ace of swords can be um connections that you still believe are worth fighting for especially if you have a child or you've lived together you've created a home together in some capacity with the ten of pentacles um there is a revival okay the star is a revival rebirth of one of these connections but i also feel there's a lot of love the king of chalices is a pisces energy it's it's very um intuitive much like cancer it's also quite attached uh it's it's sentimental yes um but this is about controlling emotions. So I get the sense that you're coming into a vibration of either learning to control your emotions better or seeing how you are as a person or as a lover. So um, maybe they're the things are going to be uh, uh, are going to be made known to you. So because the star card is about like exposing things, so it's either someone calls you out on something, 
and says, you know, you've done this and you're this way and you upset me here. And, you know, you, it's going to bring to light a lot of things that you perhaps didn't know about yourself. But this self-awareness, I believe, is part of the whole healing process. Um, so this is very powerful indeed. For some of you, I feel like there is a line drawn in the sand and there is a one-sided connection or you're going to start to see that either you're investing more into a relationship or someone else is because the six of pentacles is an uneven exchange okay someone has more than the other so someone is putting in more or investing more and maybe you didn't see those lines you, you, you never really saw what it was and i think maybe in this time frame you might start to see okay you know i'm making much more effort than they are um or you know, they're doing a lot for me. What have I done? Or, you know, they may even call you out on it. Uh, and if you're on the receiving end of it, it's like you're going to call this person out on it. Because the Ace of Swords can be like a struggle. And it's also about needing courage in a situation. My understanding with these cards would indicate there is something that still stands open-ended. Um, it's something that hasn't been finished or concluded. And right above that, you know, that sort of, which is the world card, uh, is the Ace of Swords, which makes me think there's something that you still want to fight for because the Ace of Swords, say, a, a Ace of Swords is having courage or needing courage in a situation. Now, this could be the removal of something, okay? With, with the Ace of Swords, there's a, uh, the interpretation behind that card is like, we, we cut away from something. We don't want that anymore, or we eliminate, we cut away ties with toxic people or exes or um, behaviors that we um, exhibit that are no good to our connection. So I think a lot for a lot of you, the next chapter is going to be that there is someone he's still worth fighting for. But for others, I want to say there is like a rejection coming. Um, but every rejection is a redirection onto the destined path you're supposed to follow. So as hurtful as they, that may be, and as harsh as that may sound, um, you know, it's not always easy to deal with, you know, rejection or dealing with a breakup or dealing with, you know, what we could have done differently. Um, but I sense that the rejection I get that's coming is, is the Ace of Chalices uh, reversed. Now, this won't be for all of you. We've got the moon here again. It can be for Cancers. There may be a rejection coming um, or it's like an ex might come in back into the picture and uh, you might reject you might reject them, okay? It's like a reject, if it's not for cancers, it's like a rejecting sentimentality, rejecting the past or not being able to accept what has happened in the past. Um, so it could be in a way the closing of a chapter, but it's it's either rejection. Um, but the Ace of uh, Chalices can also represent things that are traditional, like engagements, marriages, um, milestones. This is coming up upright. So for some of you, you had something planned um you know maybe you wanted to move in with your special person maybe you were talking about having a child or getting married or um you know signing a, a visa or buying a home something may not eventuate okay it may not come to fruition um but that's not to say it's never going to happen it just could indicate that timing is off okay so there may be times where you feel like things are either happening too quickly or in a sense they're not happening at all and with the star card every time i see that card i associate that card with needing to trust the process okay of, of um whatever you believe in you know whether it's fate if you believe in predestination and things happening for a reason um whether you believe in uh you know science murphy's law what can happen will happen uh, whether you believe in uh spirituality or things you've actively attracted using the law of attraction whatever sort of faith or um i guess spiritual orientation you 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 categorize yourself in or whichever labels you use, um, you sort of need to trust in that as much as you can, that the things that are happening right now are happening as they're supposed to, okay? The emotions, um, it almost reminds me of like a question mark a little bit here. So I, I don't know if this is like you're asking yourself a lot of things or this next chapter, there's going to be a lot of questions thrown at you, okay, by your next person. Like, why did this go wrong? And what happened to your last relationship? Or maybe you're going to be in this phase of you're questioning yourself, your moves, um, questioning things you did or things that you didn't do, you know. And it's heavy. The moon has come up here twice. So 
this is like, and, and because it's like a super moon here, it's almost magnified. Now the moon is a symbol of emotions, of intuition, of premonition, um, and of the subconscious. So it's either you're going to be dreaming about a lot of things you don't have answers to, or you're going to be dreaming about a lot of things you wish had gone differently. So you could be highly um, intuitive during this time. So maybe write down your dreams. Um, you know, maybe try to, uh, you know, if you're into the esoteric arts, you could do a tarot spread for yourself. Try to channel those psychic energies where you can. Um, because I feel like your subconscious is going to relay some very insightful information to you. But I also feel like there is um, was empathy. But I think emotions are magnified. So, you know, it's tense when, when emotions are rolling high and we're in this powerful energy of the King of Chalices, King of Cups. You know, it's heavy and it's intense and we don't always know how to deal with it. And that's okay too. As long as we, we're sort of present and in the moment and if we can take things as they come, that's probably going to be your best approach, um, water signs, to addressing this this, this next chapter. Um, Ace of Swords, for some of you, there is a brand new chapter with an air sign. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aquarius is coming up most strongly, though. Um, the Ace of Chalice is reversed. It doesn't mean that a water sign is going to reject you or a, a relationship with a water sign will fail. It just means that there's something about timing or there's a reversal right now that needs to be rectified. There's some things that you need to work out to bring that Ace of Chalices back upright. And that's okay. That could take time. Maybe the card's just telling you that you need to work at something before it can be positive again, before it can stand still again. Um, and maybe you need to work on the emotions, either expressing them or understanding the emotions of your person. There's a really strong emotional aspect to this, um, is what I'm getting. But I do want to mention there is beautiful new beginnings. And for a lot of you, I think there is a child, there's pregnancy news, um, a living situation here as well. Or we're moving in with someone here. So um, this is big milestones and love that are happening for you, water signs. So it's super exciting. But thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate you being here. Uh, if you have enjoyed this reading, please like and also subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So take care, lots of love and bye for now.